Drive starts now. Welcome to News Watch 12 at 5. I'm Justin Betty. High speed internet access can be a little spotty in certain parts of the Northwoods. So, as part of an expanding project, one company that started here is using complex technology to help. News Watch 12's Morgan Johnson shows us how. Pre flight checklist complete. Tether. Out. Tether power switch. Off. A Northwoods family business. The flight app is loaded. With global aspirations. And it is really exciting for the Northwoods. Scott Williams, his wife Greta, and their son Mac. Okay, takeoff checklist complete. Are the main three forces behind Whisklift. Clear for takeoff. A drone based dynamic networking company based in Hiles, Wisconsin. In its most basic form, Whisklift sends a drone in the sky to provide high speed internet. The family has spent time in Africa before and found that when they returned to the United States, connection was worse. We'd been in Africa for eight and a half years and we didn't realize that there were as big of connectivity issues here as there were. And a lot of what we did over there actually was better than what we see here. And so that was a big surprising moment for us when we moved back. They're a small company that just landed a big contract with the Air Force. But the Williams family isn't just stopping at a military contract. They want the technology to be spread across the country. The vision of Whisklift is to provide one of these trucks in all counties of the United States to provide high-speed internet access whenever disaster strikes. They're also dedicated to Forest County. Right now, they're negotiating a research and development farm in Hiles. Along with emergency situations, Whisklift will be there for schools and communities. We'll start expanding so that we can push out both Wi-Fi and 4G. And the hope is that come fall, uh, some of the sporting events in Northland Pines, people will, will be able to see a, a whisk lift network overhead at the schools. Mark Ferris from the Local Economic Development Partnership is excited. For Forest County, town of Hiles, to kind of be the epicenter of this technology and, 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 the, and the fact that it is truly has the potential of being world changing. It's it's very exciting. The impact on the Northwoods is just beginning. We think it's going to lead to future contracts and actually developing and manufacturing some equipment here in the Northwoods. So that's fun. Reporting for Newswatch 12, I'm Morgan Johnson. Well, today is July 7th, but Jeff outside mm -hmm. didn't feel like it. It was a nice day for April, early yeah. April, but it is July 7th and we deserve better. And that's on the way tomorrow, just not today with temperatures stuck in the 50s and 60s and lots of cloud cover out there too. Look at these temperatures as of 5 o'clock. It's 57 in Rhinelander, 58 for Anago. We'll call it refreshing, right? But sunshine is not too far away from us right now. Duluth is sunny currently. That's moving our way for tomorrow. Uh, we got to get through tonight first with clouds out there this evening. Some drizzle and low temperatures back in the 40s. So here's your forecast then. Partly cloudy skies to mostly cloudy skies tonight. Some drizzle out there with lows down near 48. Your full forecast is coming up, Justin. All right, thank you, Jeff. Governor Evers announced today the state's emergency rental assistance program will begin to offer help with internet costs. To qualify for the help, households must have at least one person qualified for unemployment or experience a reduction in household income because of COVID-19 or one person who can demonstrate a risk of experiencing homelessness or housing instability or a household income at or less than 80% of the county's median income. Wisconsin will mail out more than 97,000 postcards to registered voters who may have moved either within or out of the state in the near future. Wisconsin's chief election officer Megan Wolf says the Elections Commission wants voters to be prepared ahead of the 2022, that's next year's midterm election. The State Elections Commission will determine who will receive a postcard by comparing registered voters to change of records in the Wisconsin DMV or U.S. Postal Service. If you recently moved and do not get a postcard, you should visit myvote.org to update and confirm your new address. Some folks in Argonne say the town has a feral cat problem with at least 40 cats running around their small community. And many locals say it's becoming a nuisance and it's causing potential problems for house cats in the area. Concerned citizen Kristen Roberts started a movement to help fix the problem, reaching out to first the Forest County Humane Society and later a group called The Fix Is In, which specializes in cat neutering. I found out that there were people trapping the cats to use as hunting bait. They were trapping them to use to train their hunting dogs and it just broke my heart.
Today they trapped about a dozen cats from the town and plan to spay and neuter them. They also get the tip of their left ear cut to indicate that they were fixed. They can keep track of them that way. This they hope will help keep the population under control. Breeding cats can also be a risk of diseases. FIV and FELV are two very common diseases in cats that are either sexually transmitted or transmitted through fighting. So by neutering these animals and taking away that drive, we can prevent the disease transmission, which can also spread to pet cats that go outside. Robert's goal for the future is to have a facility where they can bring the cats to get neutered or vaccinated or spayed and possibly rehomed as well. President Biden is heading to a Republican stronghold within a very blue state, Illinois, today to pitch the benefits of his plan to boost spending on child care, education, and other progressive priorities. He's hoping to build support for the American Families Plan at the community level, again, hoping to get some momentum and put some pressure on lawmakers on Capitol Hill. Alice Barr has the latest from Washington. President Biden today facing down his critics in a conservative pocket of blue state Illinois as he tries to build bipartisan support for his economic agenda. The president visiting a suburban Chicago community college to promote his family's plan that includes free two-year degrees for every American, along with other education, child, and health care investments. To truly build an economy from the bottom up and the middle out, to truly deal everybody in this time, we need to invest in our people. The president arguing roughly $4 trillion in spending way, through this plan and a separate bipartisan infrastructure deal will boost the middle class, create jobs, and grow the economy. My plan will also do more to invest in high quality job training and apprenticeships in fast growing sectors. President Biden walking a fine line, pushing progressive priorities while trying to keep GOP support for the bipartisan agreement on things like roads, bridges, and broadband internet. Republicans sharply oppose merging the two plans in a massive spending blitz. I don't think we've had a bigger difference of opinion between the two parties over the best thing to do for America than we have right now. Democrats planning to pass the family's plan on their own through a special budget maneuver, but Republican leadership is vowing to fight it every way they can. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. Well, meanwhile, in Madison this week, the big question revolves around the state budget. Governor Evers is expected to take some form of action on the legislator, legislature passed bill this week. But today, a state assembly committee had an intense debate over another question. Should Kobe cheese be the official cheese of Wisconsin? That bill's been introduced several times, including in 2019, but never passed. There's some concerns that naming just one official cheese would hurt the reputation or sales of other cheeses. Those supporters of the bill don't really see the problem. This is an opportunity to have an icon, a symbol that no other state will ever have. For we are so great at what we do that we have our own very cheese. Looking at our other cheese proud towns, I'm not sure if any offense will be taken. If you're not familiar, Kobe is generally thought of as a, a milder form of cheddar with some more texture, sweeter taste. The bill would have to clear both the Senate and Assembly and then be signed by Governor Evers before becoming law. President Biden renewing his push to get people vaccinated today, especially young people. We'll look at the latest numbers, including how the Delta variant is changing the nation's strategy in just a few minutes. But first, Jeffson with your full forecast. You're watching News Watch 12, proud to serve Eagle River and folks all across the north woods of Wisconsin. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center and get the toughest waterproof floors in the industry where they're in stock and on sale. Rigid Maximum XL is 50% thicker and 30% longer, resulting in maximum durability, which is perfect for active families and pets. Not to mention, it's easy to install. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center to get your Rigid Maximum XL waterproof floors today. Carpet City, our prices will blow. The historic Rhinelander Cafe and Pub in downtown Rhinelander has been serving the Northwoods since 1911. With 32 craft beers on tap and supper club staples, Friday fish fry and Saturday prime rib, the Rhinelander Cafe and Pub also features more modern dishes like truffle fries and flatbread pizza. The large dining room provides plenty of space for an intimate surf and turf dinner or a family gathering over pasta. Stop in and enjoy a landmark in downtown Rhinelander, the Rhinelander Cafe and Pub on Brown Street. 
It's time to invest in care. I care for seniors and people with disabilities so that they can live in their homes. That lets their families go to work. Joe Biden's American Jobs Plan will give working families the support they need and jumpstart our economy. It's better wages and benefits and opportunities for caregivers who are disproportionately women, women of color, and immigrants. Tell Congress to pass Biden's plan and invest in care jobs now because care is essential. SEIU is responsible for the content of this advertisement. High Point Sand and Gravel provides high-quality riprap, sand, and screened topsoil for almost any need. The high-quality rock and stone, boulders, and clear stone enhance the function and beauty of your home or business. Offering convenient delivery or pickup throughout northern Wisconsin and the UP, High Point Sand and Gravel provides premium landscaping materials specializing in producing beautiful decorative stone for all types of landscaping projects. Contact High Point Sand and Gravel to help make your next project a dream come true. Well, what do we do with this here in early July? Lots of clouds out there today, some drizzles, some light rain showers, and really cool temperatures. The average highs near 80, nobody did that today, with highs basically in the upper 50s to mid 60s across the area today. Right now, we're at 57 in Ryan Lander with an east-northeast breeze around 8 and a dew point there of 53. Uh, over in Wausau, 64 for you. Congratulations. A northeast breeze at 8 as well with a dew point there of 56. Pressure is steady right now, and we're in good shape after today. Okay, so around the horn, everybody's having a below-average day today. Lots of cloud cover across the area. But there are somewhat warmer temperatures back off to the west. That is a sign of what's to come. We do have warmer air in the forecast beginning at as soon as tomorrow, not hot tomorrow, 71 the forecast high, 76 for Friday, then look right back up near 80 uh, on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. A good looking weekend's on the way. There could be a rogue shower, especially on Saturday. Other than that, though, we're pretty much dry into Monday afternoon. Uh, not so much out there today, though. Lots of rainfall yesterday. A few reports yesterday of near four inches of rain across Portage County, back over to Wood County. That's Slowly pushing off to the east of us now, a very slow moving front across the Great Lakes currently. Uh, but over here is where our weather is going to come from shortly. And this is partly cloudy, but there is some sunshine in here. And warmer temperatures are on the way beginning as soon as tomorrow. So here is the map. And again, that stall front is still just close enough today across the Chicago area to keep the clouds going around here. But this high pressure really wants to build in for tomorrow. And once it does, it'll likely stick around for for a few days as a couple systems then go around it to the south of us over the weekend. That could keep the cloud cover around Friday night and Saturday, but we should stay dry most if not all of the weekend. Okay, let's check on Elsa here, and it came ashore uh, near in Florida uh, earlier this morning. Uh, now lots of moisture moving through Georgia and South Carolina as well. This will likely stay in the news all weekend long because it's going to travel up the East Coast here and likely strengthen again off the coast of North Carolina into a tropical storm once again and then move off the coast of Maine. So overall, you'll be hearing the word Elsa uh, for a couple more days around here. Our forecast then for tonight, though, is mostly cloudy skies there could be a couple pockets of drizzle in there look for low temperatures near 48 if you're outside sleeping tonight that's going to be a bit cool right for tomorrow all right it's thursday already lots of clouds early followed by partly cloudy skies through the afternoon with high temperatures back in the low 70s and then looking ahead your seven day forecast by those furniture mattress shows a nice stretch of weather on the way slowly climbing temperatures mid 70s friday upper 70s to low 80s over the weekend justin all right thank you jeff the number of new covid 19 cases Cases across the country has risen slightly over the last couple weeks are still near record lows since health officials have been keeping track. Wisconsin has been holding steady for almost a month now. The State Department of Health Services reports 154 new cases today. We're averaging 71 per day over the last week. Meanwhile, DHS reports one new death today statewide. We're averaging less than one per day. They round down to zero over the last week. Meanwhile, DHS reports about 61.5% of all adults in Wisconsin have now received at least one dose of COVID-19 vaccine. They report about 58.4% of adults have completed their vaccination. Remember, about 14% of the state is children who are not yet eligible for the vaccine. Of the cases that are out there, 
The Delta variant is now the dominant COVID strain in the U.S. The latest CDC data shows the variant now accounts for 51.7% of new infections, at least for the two-week period ending on July 3rd. That is up from 30.4% the previous two weeks. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky has called this variant hyper transmissible, meaning it spreads even more easily than the previous strain. Now, the approved vaccines have worked against it in clinical trials, though U.S. health leaders say folks who are unvaccinated remain at risk. After a big push this spring, vaccination numbers have slowed to a crawl in most places across the country. President Biden now launching a new effort trying to convince more folks, especially young adults, to get vaccinated. That's a group that throughout the pandemic was not as affected by the virus as older Americans, though that seems to be changing. Mary Maloney has details. Vaccinations among young adults have been lower and increasingly more slow compared to other age groups. That's according to a recently published CDC report worrying health experts. Even individuals with mild illness could have long lasting symptoms. There are people who have lost their hair, people who continue to have loss of the sense of taste or smell. The CDC report found the weekly rate of newly vaccinated adults 18 to 29 years old slowed to 2% from 3.6% between April 19th and May 22nd. President Biden urging them to get the shot, citing the Delta variant's alarming rate of spread and saying Americans dying of COVID-19 are overwhelmingly unvaccinated. It should cause reconsideration, especially in young people. People who died of COVID-19 in May were younger and more disproportionately black than those who died of the virus throughout the pandemic. That's based on an analysis of data from the CDC, which also reveals less than 9% of black people are fully vaccinated. Yet some people, like 21-year-old Destiny Britt, say they're skeptical. I just need to make sure that it's been around for some time where I know specifically what the side effects are. She says her hesitation is caused in part by the legacy of the Tuskegee syphilis study and concerns about the vaccine's potential rare side effects. How do I know that that small percentage won't be me? For today's Health Minute, I'm Mary Maloney. Well, this summer, many Northwoods businesses and attractions are working at returning to normal after a tough year during the pandemic. When we come back, we'll show you how one local museum is working to maintain their motor history. That's next on Newswatch 12 at 5. It's 25% off our low slumberland price. Incredible deals. Huge markdowns, plus 25% off our low Slumberland price. What a sale. The 4th of July sale at Slumberland Furniture. When you have a house full of kids, your water consumption is through the roof. But when the kids move out, the water usage goes down. But how long are they really gone for? With high efficiency systems made by Water Care, Maher Water Corporation can roll with any size changing families. So call us today so we can help you with those water use issues. The laundry is still up to you. It's a great time to start those big projects with 11% off everything right now at Menards. Whether your storage needs are small or large, a post frame building is the perfect solution. You can save 11% on the plans and materials. Design and buy online or stop into the store to start planning it today. Save 11% on all post frame buildings and everything else right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Feel the freedom of the open road this summer. Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg has your keys to adventure. We're giving away the keys to a hot new Ford Ranger Lariat in July, along with buckets of cash, a tailgate package, a camping package, and a patio package. Summer doesn't get any better. Grab your bestie and play your favorite game. While you play and have fun, earn entries all month long. Get entered today, because on Saturday, July 31st, we'll hand out the keys to the new Ford Ranger and lots of cash and prizes. Find your keys to adventure at Ho-Chunk Gaming Wittenberg. Now's the time to get a Ford built for you, by you. Pick your color, your wheels, and other available features specifically designed for your Ford. Want an F-150 with a 12-inch touchscreen? 400 horsepower in an Explorer? Or a moonroof? You've got it. And now an additional 1,000 bonus cash on top of all public offers. See your dealer for a Ford built for you, by you. 
build and order your select Ford today and get 1,000 bonus cash in addition to all public offers. Incredible deals, huge markdowns, like the Sealy Pillow Top Queen Mattress on sale for just $4.99. What a sale! The 4th of July sale at Slumberland Furniture. The Alpha Heaven Motorama Museum in Anawa, southwest of Anago, holds a collection of over 400 rare and unique cars. He hosts events each summer to bring visitors to the grounds, big part of what they do at least. However, because of the pandemic last year, well, it didn't happen. There was concerns about what was safe for the public. There weren't any good answers. So we ran very, very limited hours on the museum and very limited on the events for as far as attendance. Said so local says even though closing last year was difficult, they are working to bring people back to the facility now. Things are coming back. We're still being a little bit cautious. I would think that by next year, if all goes well, we'll be completely back to normal. We'll tell you more about their interesting collection of cars and the upcoming events at Alpha Heaven Grounds coming up on Newswatch 12 at 6. COVID-19 has been a big topic, of course, over the last 17 months or so, and at least one Newswatch 12 viewer thinks we talk about it too much. Take a listen to his thoughts in tonight's Your Two Cents. To listen to your messages, press L. I'm wondering why you keep beating that poor horse to death about the COVID. You know, you have a lot of other good news out there, like today you had it on the brothers on the fire department in Janesville and Clinton. You know, that was excellent good news. That's what I think you should be reporting on more than stuff like the COVID stuff that carries on and on and on. The most boring news you could ever put on TV. Thank you. If you want to make your voice heard on your two cents, give us a call at 715-365-8812, extension 319. Again, 715-365-8812, extension 319. Remember, I respond to calls on Friday on my two cents. We'll be right back. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Slumberland. Everyone sleeps at Tomahawk Furniture and Gun with prices so low you'll have to bend over to see them. Prices that make your eyes pop out. Want to sleep watching TV? Check out our recliners. You want to pass out face first in a sofa? Check out our sofas. And beds, we've got beds. Check us out, prices so low you'll think we're crazy. Because everyone sleeps at Tomahawk Furniture and Gun. Hi friends, Brian Gottlieb at Tundraland Home Improvements, and today we're talking about how to design a safe and beautiful shower, and we're joined by Paul Lukowski. Paul, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Brian. Paul, we install a whole lot of baths and showers across the state of Wisconsin. What are some of the primary reasons people update their bathroom? Well, there's a few reasons, Brian, and I'd say the first one is safety, like that old tub that's hard to step in and over. Uh, you know, bathrooms just weren't designed with safety in mind. The second one would be beauty. You mean getting rid of those really old blue tubs? Yeah, or the avocado green, the harvest gold. People have beautiful homes, they have so much pride in them, and then you walk in their bathroom and it's just like, wow, this is out of date. And then lastly is cleaning. So when you say cleaning, what do you mean? Well, you know, the old technology out there, fiberglass tile, it's just really hard to clean. You don't want to spend your weekends doing that. Let's listen to Jennifer on that. I didn't have to worry about a thing, not cleaning up afterwards or anything. I couldn't be happier with my Tundraland bathroom. So let's talk about easy to clean. What makes a Tundraland bath or shower so super easy to clean? Well, Brian, it's our exclusive stay clean technology. The first thing is the materials. We put materials in a shower that nothing can stick to, so they're very easy to clean. And then we also have what we call Silver Shield technology. And what Silver Shield does is it's actually an antimicrobial. So nothing can ever grow, no mold, no mildew. So if you want to spend your weekends having fun rather than cleaning your shower, that Tundraland shower is for you. Sounds perfect. Folks, Tundraland has some very exciting offers. Take a look.
Hey, Northeast Wisconsin, what a great time to get a new bath or shower. From Door County, Green Bay, Oshkosh, all the way down to Fond du Lac, homeowners love their new Tundraland shower. And now is the best time to save. Get half off installation on your new bath in a free $100 Bed Bath & Beyond gift card. Call 1-800-TUNDRALAND or visit tundraland.com today. That's right. Get half off installation with a free $100 Bed Bath & Beyond gift card. Call 1-800-TUNDRALAND or visit tundraland.com today. New York City is always a very busy place, but this morning especially was really a buzz. The NYPD had a call in one of their beekeepers to help eliminate about 25,000 bees. The department tweeted out this video of them removing the insects. Are they an insect? I guess they're an insect. Using a special vacuum to gently handle them. Uh, the department said basically no one was stung by the bees and they were then taken to a safe location. Okay, so the NYPD has their they own They have their keeper. own beak, at least one. They may have several. Those big city budgets. Have I guess. A, a bunch of bucks in there. I, you know. Okay, so for us though, the bees are not liking temperatures out there today because we're hanging out near 60, a bit cool for early July. We're going to work on that though as warmer temperatures are on the way. Still a couple of showers across southeastern Wisconsin, a little bit of drizzle across the north woods. Uh, we will find ourselves in some partly cloudy skies overnight tonight. And then tomorrow, definitely more sunshine back in the forecast and warmer temperatures finally. Uh, look at the seven day though, looking at pretty good tomorrow. Highs near 70, still yeah. below average. Uh, back near average on Friday, a good looking weekend right now. There could be a rogue shower, especially late Friday into Saturday morning. I'll keep an eye on it. Yeah. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you for joining us on Newswatch 12 at 5. NBC Nightly News is next. We'll see you back here at 6 with more.